This is where we want to go. Uh, Nikola Jokic named MVP third time in four years. My vote was Luka Doncic. He finished third. Shea Gilgis Alexander finished second. But I got no issue with Jokic winning it. He had a terrific year, uh, as did SGA and Luka, too. They don't, and they even did. some others. Yep, yeah, I did. mean, there, there were guys. You know, most years, Rob, there's going to be a good number of pe- players, right, that have MVP Right. Type seasons. And so uh, that's what happened this year. But Shaq uh, and Charles uh, Barkley last night on TNT, they had Jokic on for an interview. And uh, here's what Shaq and Barkley kind of got into after Jokic was done. Every year, idiots get on TV and talk about who's the best player. It never goes to the best player. It goes who had the best regular season. You know, Shaq said he got robbed. Not every year he does it. Well, most of the time. It goes to the guy. Yeah. So, you know, Shaq said he got robbed. I don't know if he got robbed. I got robbed. Was, was, was the was baddest Steve. mofo. Yeah, it, but but it, it, it's never, talk it, about it, now. It, it doesn't so, go to the best player. It goes to the guy it, who had the it, best regular well, you season. you know what? Don't name him most valuable player then. Uh, no. Well, 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 don't it's, name him most valuable just, player then. Well, it goes to the most valuable player in the league. It, that was me. It does not. Most valuable player in the league. That's Shea Gilgis Alexander. Well, don't name it that then. Let's stick to it. Don't name it that then. It's subjective. Good earn <laughs> Can you stick to like what's going well, on? Well, I now? think I, I and Rob G, correct me if I'm wrong, because I didn't see it live. But I think when Charles said Shaq thinks he got robbed, I think he was talking about Shaq feels like he himself got robbed. Yeah, he said, yeah, no, no, he Shaq said felt yeah. like SGA got No, no, no. That both. he had been but he both. had been robbed during his playing days. He should have won more MVPs. Correct. Well, look, Rob, I, I will say this, and you know I've been a voter. I've been a voter for sorry, what, ninety six? You know, that's almost thirty years. When I went to the New York Times, Rob, they don't vote. Right. Or they didn't. They didn't allow they right now. They, right. I don't, the, the policy. Yeah. So I those few years I was off, but otherwise I've been voting, and and I I gotta admit, it it, it is, it, it's a negative mark on us voters, um, that Shaq only has one, and Kobe only has one, and Steve Nash has two. Now that's not done purposely. You know, year to year, you might be a better player, but you didn't. Your team didn't win as many games. I mean, it it happens, obviously, but it just does look bad. Shaq's right. I mean, can I look at the year that he definitely should have won it? Um, I don't know, but he he definitely deserved more than one. I'll I, give you I, that. I disagree. Really, I, I do. And I don't he think he only should have got one. I don't think. Well, when you him and Kobe x each other out, Chris, like that's that really. I think that more than anything, for the people who watch closely, some people were Shaq people, some people were Kobe people. That was split a vote, and I think that's what hurt him more than anything. I don't think people. Uh, uh, no, I don't think it was anything purposeful. And that's what I'm saying. Shaq. I don't, no, but I'm no, saying that, that that that's the reason. Had he not had Kobe as a teammate, Chris, and he came away with one, and they won three championships, and then we got a different different conversation. That's what I'm saying. Is I believe that's I the think reason. That's a good point. That's all. That, I, that's I all. I do I'm, agree with that. That they canceled each other out. And what happens well, is that's how Steve Nash wins. Is because they cancel each other out, right? And then you wind up. I saw this happen nah, in New York. I saw this that's happen fair. in New York, Chris. Let me give you an example. The year it was Strawberry and uh, Kirk Gibson won the MVP in 1988. Chris, go look at his numbers: 25 home runs, uh, 75 RBIs. Right? Strawberry led the league in home runs, everything. But Kevin McReynolds played left field and had a great year for the Mets. They split the vote in New York, and Kirk Gibson won the MVP that year. I've seen right. it, and that's what I think happened to Shaq mostly. Because Kobe should have had more and Shaq should have had more. We both yeah. know that they were both great. No, nah, I agree. And, and you're right. I mean, they we know they canceled each other. Right. I mean, because – and part of people's criteria is all – including mine – is often what's your supporting cast. So if you won 55 games and you didn't have another all-star teammate, you get boosted up ahead of a guy that won 56 games – but he's got a freaking all NBA first teamer with him and, named and, Kobe Bryant or named Shaquille O'Neal. So you are right about that. Shaq has an argument, Rob, third year in the league. Orlando, 
uh, he led them to the best record in the Eastern Conference, 57 wins. His numbers were better basically across the board. Blocks, uh, David Robinson had him beat. Um, but Shaq had more points per game, more rebounds per game than David Robinson. But the Spurs won 62 games, and Robinson got that MVP. Um, but Shaq had, you know, Shaq finished second that year, Rob. So that was an argument for Shaq. But, um, yeah, I, I I think you're right. I, I know you're right. Because um, nobody's purposely trying to take away from Shaq. No. And when you look at these guys, Rob, you look at most of the guys that win MVPs. Carl Malone won it. Stockton wasn't really going to take he away He was never from an Malone. MVP. No, no, yeah, no. Yeah, right, no, as great no. as he was. Uh, like I said, David Robinson, this is when they didn't have really that second superstar. Um, they didn't have Tim Duncan at that point. Um, Shaq and Kobe, we see they cancel each other out. Jordan Pippen was never really in the MVP discussion, right? Magic, when Magic started winning them was when Kareem was older, you know? And I think Kareem's last one, Rob G, correct me if I'm wrong, I think Kareem's last one was Magic's rookie season. So mostly, yeah, LeBron won it. Now, LeBron did win it with D-Wade, Rob. So that's one where having another great teammate. Yeah, I'm not saying you know, that didn't, is. But, yeah. but no, I know you're not saying every year. But for the most part, I it just, is true that guys cancel each other out. Yeah, I think that's what hurt Shaq and Kobe both. Uh, and uh, it's it's unfortunate. But the thing that I think that, that and, and this was in the notes that we had today, Chris, just the Joker in his favor that what is the year, Rob G., 1984, that an MVP, Chris, not since 1984, has won an MVP without a all-NBA player on his squad, without an all-star. Like, like how? Like, like he is... Wait, not since 1994. 84. Has someone, 84 has someone won an award, MVP award without an all-star or all-NBA teammate, yep. Rob G? Jokic yeah. is the only MVP. This is Hat Tip Tim Haberstro, friend yep. of the show. Okay. Only MVP since 84 who has never had a teammate never. that's had an all-star an all NBA or an all defensive honor. That's crazy, Chris. I, I'll give you I'll give you another. Now, DeAndre Jordan has one was made an all-star team, but he doesn't play much. So I guess does Haberstraw, did he say starter? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Here's another one, guys. And this will be for those, because if Denver doesn't win it this year, uh Jokic may get some criticism, right? But the last eight MVP winners have not won the championship that year. In fact, nine of the last ten have not won the championship. Yeah, that's that crazy. Year. And and the year the that, one that won it was Steph. In and, and and then last year he didn't win it and they won a championship. Right, right, right. Here's the other thing, Rob. Jokic is the only MVP to ever, ever. This goes back to 1957 or 56, whenever the first year of the league was. The whole entire history of the NBA. Jokic is the only MVP to win a championship without a fellow All-Star starter. Ever, Chris. Ever, ever, ever. 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 And people pointed to, oh, Elijah Wan in 90, what was that, 94? Or, yeah, 95? No, Elijah Wan had Otis Thorpe. Now, Otis Thorpe wasn't some phenomenal player, but he had made an All-Star team at that point. And so, yo, you can say what you – Jamal Murray's all-star caliber. He ain't had an all-star. But he ain't made an all-star team. That, and so, that is a feather in Jokic's cap. There are knocks on Jokic, Rob. He has never he has never beaten a 50-win team in the playoffs. Um, And, you know, we'll see if they end up getting swept this year. So, there are not – he won two his first two MVPs without winning 50 games. One of them was the pandemic-shortened season, but – so there are some knocks against him, but that but that's a heck of a, uh, that's a feather in your cap. I was gonna say, Chris, that's a badge. <laughs> that's a badge of honor that right. nobody else is able to do that. And that's when you talk about most valuable and making other people better around you, where you have a chance to does win. In space, right? Yeah. That that's that's so when people are like always trying to uh, you know make a make a point about him. I mean, I, I don't know how you could look at him. And I'm not saying he's the all-time greatest player who's ever played, right, right, but right. you got to give the guy credit. 
Just yeah, and, and Shaq talked about don't call it most valuable. I mean, it's it's not – the MVP is a great name. We're all used to it, right? Yeah. But it's not the most valuable because that's essentially immeasurable, right? And, Rob, I mean, there could be a guy on a 35-win team that is of more value to his team than any other player in the league. You know, the other teams, like like I said, you might have two All-Stars on your team. When, when the Heat had LeBron, Wade, and Bosh, not to mention Ray Allen and Shane Battier and some other good players, like, was LeBron absolutely more valuable to that team than, I don't know, some, some lone All-Star was to his team that won 41 games? Maybe not, right? That Heat team was going to be really good anyway. They probably wouldn't have won a championship. They wouldn't have. But still, I, I it's not... Value, I, I don't know how you measure that other than some of these analytic stats, and I don't think we just want to totally go with that. So it is kind of, it's a mishmash, um, but it is generally like a player who had an outstanding season. His team won a lot of games, usually 50 or more. They were a high seed. And, you know, he's he's a star who puts up incredible numbers. That's generally generally what it is, right? And it doesn't go to the best player because Michael Jordan was the best player in the and league. Should have won every year. What decade. year didn't he win? Right, right, right. exactly. And, and LeBron was the best for a large chunk of time. So, and I, I don't, I think now especially, right? Like for those that would say, just give it to the best dude. Nah, I don't think you start that now because that's not fair to. Chamberlain and LeBron and Kareem and, you know what I mean, they, Jordan. They'd have and, eight and, or ten of them then. Right, right. So, you know, it is what it is. But um, eight seven seven ninety nine on Fox. Your thoughts on Jokic winning the MVP? And if you want to weigh in on Shaq only having one, Rob gave great logic. I agree with it. He and Kobe just canceled each other out. It's as simple as that. So Steve Nash has two. Uh, which is equal to Shaq and Kobe combined. But obviously, they're both historically much better than Steve Nash.